the I'm, I think that's hip hop. Period. I ain't even gonna say Griselda. Facts. Nah, definitely. White, you know, white people consume hip hop more than anybody. Mm -hmm. They buy they the support, albums more. They, they stream heavy. it more. They, you see these hip hop concerts. It's a lot of. It's mostly so. But yeah, even though they people say like word. Boston, a real racist spot, it is. But the people Some that's not in the, the hip-hop got yeah it's, it's hip -hop hardcore out there. they always show like the most energy you are now watching rhymes and politics spit them balls yo check it out it's your right hand man site you're now tuned in to rhymes and politics the show where we sit down with professionals from all aspects of hip-hop culture today we poly in with east side baltimore's own sk the king is in the building What's good, Yo, comrade? What's up, family? How's everything good? Oh, you great, Yo, man. So, great, man. Yo, I'm gracious, man. I'm good to sit here with you, man. Likewise, I, brother. When I saw you, you came up to New York. You and your team came up to New York SOBs for uh, Love the Genius concert. Yeah. Y'all did y'all thing, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, y'all can it, bro. go to the channel and go check that performance out. Sam, yeah, crazy Sammy show. Snow is on there, too. His performance is up there. Some of the team is on there, too, doing their thing. So you're from the east side of Baltimore. Tell us about the east side. Uh, from your eyes, what you been through growing up out here? Um, I, I said this shit in my last interview, man. It ain't no different from no other hood or, 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 or project or uh, urban, you know what I mean, place in the country. Uh, I just say it might just be a little more of the same shit going on. Mm -hmm. It's robberies, carjackings, snakes, niggas. The same shit going on. It's just, you know, certain cities is more. Right. You know, niggas get killed here probably just like any other city, just a little, a little more here. You know what I mean? So yeah. It's all the same shit in any hood, bro. It's just, you know, East Side Ball, it's just, it just go on probably a lot more than average. Gotcha. Understood. Yeah. yeah. How's the hip hop scene out here? How do uh, artists out here get exposure out here, like get seen out here? The hip hop scene, I think, honestly, well, I say this from my point of view, like it's I know for a fact it's a lot of great artists from Baltimore. It's just, I mean, everybody know Baltimore ain't never had no big spotlight on it yeah, to this day. Right. Yeah. You only when you, mainstream wise, you want to think about like Drew Hill and Mario. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it G, like for real though. Is 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 Mario and Drew Hill? We never had no mainstream big success mm -hmm. on the hip hop rap level oh yet. okay yeah yet. so nobody are you, gonna, are you gonna fill those shoes for sure we we doing it that's right we yeah. doing it you know what i mean i'm you know uh i can say like just to keep it straight up like i didn't already did shit with you know my little following and and me just starting to you know move with con and drum right. work and all that like mm -hmm. I done already did shit that nobody from the city done. Yeah. You've like been the on, drum been work on, album, number one on the charts, on the hip hop charts. Mm -hmm. Like as an artist, no other, nobody from Baltimore, hip hop artists got, can say they got a number one charting album. That's dope, yo. Yeah, you know keep I mean? going, so, man. So you've been on tour with Conway. What did you learn being on the road? Like what did you pick up from watching him, how he move and all that? Um, what I picked up is the merch grind. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really on merch, like making merch and you make projects and then you kind of make your artwork artsy yes. so that it can go with the project and you can sell a merch with it. I wasn't really on it. I seen it, mm -hmm. but I wasn't really on it personally. I would just drop a mixtape or something online. Right. I wouldn't do no merch with it, but now I see just following that Griselda blueprint. blueprint. Yeah. Like you make the artwork artsy. Yeah. And then you throw that shit on the T, add some shit, you know, and then you sell it with the project and you make more money versus just getting ten dollars off a C D. Mm -hmm. Now you get the ten off a C D, you come with the shirts twenty five, come with the hoodies for fifty, and people buy it. Yeah. People into it because the merch is like it's so limited, so it's like People like it because of the, you know, the rareness of it. Like, mm -hmm. everybody not going to have this. Yeah. It's exclusive. the same way with tour merch. Yeah. Tour merch is heavy. I never realized it until I start getting into it and I start noticing shit more. And I'm like, okay, this merch thing is a, it's a big thing. Mm -hmm. 
And that's why I see now why the industry started adding it to the like the sales it come yeah, with all yeah. the albums Constant. everybody who drop an album they got vinyls yep. merch hats hoodies all that shit so i see why because it's a big thing so i picked up that like as far as like putting the merch out like that part mm -hmm. and like i would say my performance yeah because uh I, I i always perform good but watching Khan perform is like when he perform like you can feel it like right his energy, his yeah. his stage presence is uh, is crazy, and just like from just I I just be watching him from the stage and shit when he go on, and I just just be watching him and like his energy, like you can mm -hmm. feel it mm -hmm. when he perform every word he say. Yeah, you know he ain't just looking hard and you know just <laughs> right. just rap like he's he, connecting he, with the he, crowd. He, he giving you his energy. Yeah, he, he give you that energy like from. So I see like the performance and like the merch game. Yeah. So before you went on tour with him, was you doing shows? Yeah. Before I uh, ever went on tour with him, I've been moving with bro. Uh, just to say, like I I, I known bro since like '08. Yeah. Y'all so, met in Atlanta, right? Yep, in yeah. Atlanta. So uh, like soon as he got signed, I was moving around with him from the first tour that they was on with uh, the Locks. They was on a uh, Key okay. to Locks tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in 2017. Okay. So, like, soon as he started moving around when he signed that Shady deal in 2017, I've been moving with him since then. Mm. And I've, I've did, like, shows with, I opened for him, Benny, and Wes at Howard Theater here, Soundstage, New York, Philly. So I was already just, like, opening for him at certain shows. Okay. And even shows I wasn't opening, I still popped out on them. Yeah, so y'all always that, kept that communication Hell and all yeah, that. For came sure. back. Yo, that's dope, man, that he came back and scooped you up, man. I respect yeah, that, man. Yeah, that's a fact. Shout and out to Conway for that, man. Yo, talk about the Check It Flag Boys, man. How did y'all come together? Who came up with the name? So Check It Flag Boys, Mark Tony Bosco and shit. Salute, salute. That, yeah. It's my big bro, man. All right. Come, 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 yeah, come. Yeah, he right here, yeah, man. He come, come man. Yeah, man, while we on Come this talk side. to us, big bro. Yeah. Yeah. So, so talk Tony about the Bosco, movement. Yeah. So Tony Bosco, my 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 big bro, uh, Steve, he rapped. So he a part of the reason I started rapping. Okay. This is like one of his best friends since since childhood. Gotcha. He yeah. like family. Well, he ain't even yeah. friends. It's like, Blood. this is mm -hmm. family for real. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, my bro kind of let it go, and bro stuck with it. Okay. And then he seen, um, okay, bro doing his thing, and we just came together. So he already he came up with the Czech flag boys and recruited everybody, and then I've been a part of it since 2012 when he created it. Okay. With Heavy, EJ, Steve, LJ, Sleek. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we we started cooking, making tracks. Uh. It was just, it, it was more, I say we never really went like full fledged with it, just it being uh, so many of us and us being solo and just right. trying to, you know what I mean? Just so that whole like group thing. So it's like a collective of artists coming together as a whole Different movement. personalities, different mm -hmm. shit going on. So, but we always drop singles and videos and we actually got like two projects that we never put out that's done. Okay. But the but we put in a one project, it's coming out, the the the, the, recent, the last one that we did. So. Got you. But no, it, it ain't like no put together shit like, oh, I met this nigga and he was nice. Right. Everybody with Checker Flag like is like 10, like really 15, 20 plus. Yeah. I can't even say 10. <laughs> it's really like 20 plus. Yeah. It's every, everybody, every, all relationships is like 20 plus. So when you was in Atlanta, the, the movement was already going and you came back to Baltimore. No, and bro in? was doing his thing, but it wasn't yeah, Checker Flag boys. We started Checker Flag in 20, I mean, um, yeah, 2012. I was a solo artist. I was running with um, the Rough Riders. Okay. Um, Def, um, State Game Productions. They did a lot of production for Dipset. Mm -hmm. um, my manager was um, DMX Road Manager. Man, okay. Skip, shout out to Skip. I yeah. We still in contact to this day, but. Um, we just, you know, from Baltimore, trying to get on. Give us that history, that's big bro. Is, Give us that history, yeah. man. You know, that's it, man. So um, how the scene was, when you was moving around, how was the Baltimore hip-hop scene out here when you was out moving around, shaking to, um, where it, to what it is now when S SK is out here shaking and moving I'm right now? I'm going to tell you, um, what was the slogan, um, I was the shit before the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need um, IG likes. People know me, man. So yeah, it's like, right. um, it was more fans. Okay. It wasn't everybody rapping back then. It was a selective few right. that rose above 
and it was fans. The hip hop shows was packed out with fans. Mm -hmm. Now when you when but now Reese, I don't really do a lot of um, Baltimore shows no more because there's a lot of just rappers. You so do you go out of town and yeah, get your make some noise and yeah. bring it back? Yeah, so no. <laughs> you you will perform. It would got to the point where they wanted me and my guys to perform because they know we gonna act this joint up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then once once people perform, whoever they got there, they will leave. They mm -hmm. wouldn't even stay to see the other artists. So Took all the energy out the all track. All the energy before you knew it, it'd be five acts and it'd just be empty in that joint. Yeah. So, but I'm from the era where like five seasons um, used to be packed. It was this, you know, every city got their hip hop. Right, stars, right. Five yeah, seasons. houses, SOBs. Yeah. Spots like Legend, that. Yeah, yeah. Packed. Man, like on um, what's the Eminem movie? Um, eight Mile. Eight, yep, eight Mile. mile they yeah. Had, they, that's how it would be. Yeah, that, right. was, that's, that was definitely five seasons. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was love, man, and everybody would collaborate with each other. That's why I tell everybody. That's why we still got friction now, because mm -hmm. we was known back then. We was on in New York, um, DJ Capones and all right. um, mixtapes in New York, going out there getting on those mixtapes. So we still got movement. Right. And um. You know, we grow up, got kids and everything. Mm -hmm. We still love music. Little bro. I saw the Conway. When I first saw the Conway and um, Wes and um, Butcher freestyle on Sway, Yeah. I didn't know little bro knew him. Okay. I'm just calling around like, yo, is these niggas rap like us? Yeah. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. What's going on with these, these, these? Bro, talk, man, that's my man. Yeah. <laughs> then it, after that, it, it was that was it. That's what's up. And I mean, little bro, put some fire under us, like yo, we, cause cause we all it seemed like we always get another chance, man. Somehow, mm -hmm. yep. we think it's over, then it be somebody heard us or whatever, and, and then bro just it, it just linked together, and, and it's all love. We go around them, it's nothing but love. That's they dope. Entourage, right. Look at us as family now, so mm -hmm. it's cool, man. What's your What's your role in the movement now? Are you still artist or are you more on the executive on side? On both. I'm the one, for far as Checker Flag Boys, I'm the one to keep us together. And, right. And, 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 when everybody starts straying away, no, nah, we too nice. We gotta keep exactly. going. Exactly, that's What's good. Going on, man. Look, yep. it's all put a thousand up. Let's do this, this, and that. You know yeah. what I mean? But life getting away, and I understand. But at the bigger picture, it keeps us young. Right. You know what I mean? It keeps us in tune with what's going on. And then I talk to bro like every other day. He keep me informed, even if I can't go to the shows, wherever they at. Mm -hmm. He make sure he holler at me. I call him, say kill it, and we keep it moving. You know what I mean? That's good, man. That's good. You gotta. Shout out to Sammy Snow in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah what up, man. kid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we gotta put that. Yeah, put that right there. Yeah, put all that merch Snow. right there. Yeah, that right there. Yeah. So your sound is like hip hop mixed with club, trap. How yeah. do you hook new yeah. listeners into your music? So I, was, I wasn't like a boom bat rapper before I got with Khan, but I was always a lyrical metaphor bar rapper okay i just kind of did it on more up tempo uh more up-to-date versus 90s type mm -hmm. of beats mm -hmm. 2000 beat style 50 cent you know right. type shit it wasn't really the the grimy dark boom boom bap and then uh so i always had bars and metaphors and shit so once i got with khan and i started listening to his shit it kind of got me into that mode a little bit you mm -hmm. know what i mean like it kind of got me back I was like, all right, let me, and then my whole thing was, all right, I'm coming under, I'm, my whole thing was, all right, I'm coming up, I'm coming up under him, you know, uh, let me adapt a little bit, yeah. that way I can, because like I said, I already had the bars and shit, so right. let me adapt so I can grab his fans mm -hmm. and grab his audience. No doubt, yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to change my style. I'm going to start doing the boom bap hip hop beats a little more and I'm going to mix it in right. with what I already been doing with my style already. So that's what that, that's what that was. So though. when y'all was in Atlanta together, did, was he on this sound now back then? No. Or evolved no. to this sound? It was what, the what, same. What? It was the same. I, the, I, I don't to be. I'm, so when I met him like 08, we was down there from like 08 up until like 2011, because I got booked in 2011 down okay, there. Okay, okay. Uh, I had I sat for like a year mm -hmm. uh, in Mississippi and shit. I got caught out of state, but I was living in Atlanta. Right. So I was booked for that year. During that time I was booked, 
he had went back to Buffalo. Cause mind you, we was all homeless in the studio. If anybody know the story, right? We was homeless in the studio, so we was already fucked up. Yeah. So once I got booked, and 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 he he went back up to Buffalo. When I got out, I came back here. Oh, okay. So gotcha. we was like we was still connected through like Facebook and shit. Okay. But you know he had got shot in 2012, mm -hmm. like a year after I came home. Right. And you know I was just up here doing me. So uh, we had a little break up until like 2015. But okay. we were still connected on social, like I said, Facebook. That's good. So like 2015, he was moving around, you know, 2015 when they started making noise on the underground. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was just doing my thing in Atlanta because I got connections in Atlanta and New York. So I was doing my one too. And then uh, we linked back up in Atlanta. I was down in Atlanta for a show. I think I was opening for Dro or some shit. Okay. And he was just down there doing his one too. So we had a mutual friend and they was like, yo, you know Khan down here? And I hit him, I hit him on a book and I got his number and I caught him and we pulled up and just chopped it up. Like I ain't seen him in probably like what, four years. Right. So we just, we've been locked in since 2015. And then 2017, he started really moving around a mm -hmm. lot. So I yeah. just start moving around with him. Yeah. And, and, and that thing just kind of came together from there. That's good, man. Yo, that's a beautiful story, man. But I'm, I'm sorry, back nah, to the sound thing. thing nah, do you like think, I brother? said, you we know, I was, I was like, a, I, I wasn't really a trap rapper, yeah. but I just did more up tempo, more up the sound kind of beats but at that the time, 90s. Yeah, at that time it was and a lot I just, of trap. I kind of adapted. Like I said, I, I was trying to grab their audience mm -hmm. since I was coming up under him. So I tried to mix it in. Gotcha. And all that. Yep. Yeah. But I mean, at that time it was a lot of Atlanta trap Yeah, And even, so. even back then, Khan ain't rap on no boom back beats back then. But he wasn't on no straight trap uh, uh, future. He, he was doing more New York. Right. Uh, two, like 50 Cent type of beats. Yeah. The more but it wasn't a, the grimy, dark boom bass with no drums and all that shit. He wasn't okay. rapping on them. Yeah. Shit. Not at all. What so, producer you working with for, right. the, for these projects? Because you got the made for this yeah, album? Yeah, yeah. Fire, bro. Thank you, Brody. Bumping that joint all the way coming down here, word, man. Word. I got and a, the features you got on there? Yeah. They, 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 and, they and did their thing, the too, man. That's, that's Shout all out to y'all, man. Y'all did y'all thing Bosco, on that. That's a good IZM. album, bro. Thank you, bro. That's I a good got album. A, a lot of people hit me on a personal, like even on tour, I was mad because um, I had a company I was going through where I would get my CDs from and it was like one, two day turnaround. Right. So I was more focused on, because I make my own merch. I got my own machines to make my merch. To print up, okay. So I was doing that. So I kind of got on the CDs late. Mm -hmm. So when I tried to inquire about the CDs, I called the dude and he like, yo, I don't even do that shit no more. <laughs> but I had got like uh, 300 CDs from him the prior year for the last tour. Okay. But in a year time, like I said, he stopped doing it. So I'm like, fuck, it's only a week before tour. So everybody I was hitting up, it was going to be like a long a turnaround. They yeah. was like, oh, no, nah, we ain't going to be. So, so I was like, fuck the CD. So on tour, I had mad people. You don't got no made for this copies? And that shit just hurt me. Yeah. That shit gotta, hurt me. I'm like, damn, why the fuck didn't I was on getting the CDs right. like I should have been? And yeah. I had so many people hitting me up asking like, man, you don't got no hard copies? Mm -hmm. And I was like, shit. So a lot of people hit me up like on the DMs personally, like just like supporters, fans and right. shit who I don't even know. Yeah. Like, yo, that this song, da, 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 that song, yo, that, that. And, and I got like great reviews off of it. Nah, that joint is fire, bro. Yeah, I'm bumping sure. that joint all the way coming down like this, flowing like, yeah. ooh. Thank you, bro. So when, like when you out on tour, you got your team with you. Are they handling the business while you like, let's say you got somebody handling the merch, yeah. somebody out no, collecting so, emails from the fans? Um, anybody, you, who I, anybody who I do bring with me on tour, I do try to give everybody a role and, right. you know, uh, People do help me with whatever I need them to help me mm -hmm. with. Um, as far as the, the 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 merch, I did the first tour. I had somebody running my merch table, but then shout out to Skis. Skis kind of I kind of uh, followed what Skis was doing. Okay. Cause Skis he he last tour this last tour he had somebody running his merch, but the tour before that he was doing his own. So me and my sister Lucky, she was like, yo. She kind of picked up on it and bought it to me like, yo, you should, instead of having, you know, him run a table, whoop de woo like, yo, you should run a table. That way you can kind of connect with the fans more on a personal mm, level. Right. Take pictures. And, and take pictures yeah. and kind of 
real them into who you are right. whoop de woo so uh at first i had somebody running the table on a uh, love will get you killed tour mm -hmm. and then probably like maybe five six shows in i start running doing it myself to okay. connect with the people and, yeah. and, and kind of you know try to reel them in and shit like that mm -hmm. so and and it helps so um yeah yeah the answer to that yeah no i did at first but then i start doing it myself yeah yeah, cause and then at the end of the day, I, I I was thinking like, what the fuck am, what the <laughs> fuck am I gonna be doing if I'm not here? Right. I'm gonna be backstage lollygagging mm -hmm. with with everybody, when I can be doing something more productive. Exactly. And stand at my table, cause I'm not just gonna be running through the crowd crazy. I'm gonna be backstage just chilling, doing right. nothing. So yeah. I was like, let me do something that's more productive, something that can help me more. And I'm like, so I'm gonna just stay at the merch table. Nah, that's dope, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's how you get. So shout you out know. to Skis, man. Yeah. Skis, man. He 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 uh bought he bought that. He but that's that good. You table. learning, you picking up yeah. tidbits from being around them to yep. implicate, you know, to add how to, to your, move. Yeah, how, to add shit. to your brand. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So what are you doing for like your team as far as like getting them out there? Are you going to um, start like your own? I I kind of just I, I'm more so uh, I can't I can only do but so much at this point. Yeah. But I do like connect dots for them and, right. you know, put them on and shit and anything that I can, if I got a show or anything, like I didn't, I didn't have shows with Benny and Conway and uh, the whole Griselda and I, instead of doing three, four of my solo songs, I purposely add a song in mm -hmm. with one of the bros or a song with both of the bros. Right. So they can, you know what I mean, get they shine and, and that. So like I said, I can only do but so much, but I do like connect certain dots that I can connect if they wanna, you know, do this or yeah. that or open, you know. Yeah, that's good. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I put them on my uh, sets, my songs, if you know, uh, cause I, you know, my streams is up. So I put them on my songs, that way people can get familiar. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course I repost all they shit. Yeah. You know, cause there's certain eyes that probably follow me that right. that yep. don't follow them. Um, yeah, but nah, that's good, man. You yeah. bringing some of that opportunity, get shed some light on them yeah, as well. Are yeah. they coming out with their own projects, or y'all yeah, gonna do a compilation? Every, everybody, uh, all the bros, everybody doing they, and everybody solo artists, everybody got their own thing going on. Mm -hmm. Everybody got their own, you know, and everybody solo, and we all just doing our thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Together but separate. All right, right. Got you. You know what, what I mean? What producers you like working with? Uh for not like like as of lately, like I used to uh I used to be on like sound clicking YouTube crazy, but I started learning more. Like I said, just being around bro and being around like Chad and, and, and certain people who 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 know the music industry and they tell you shit like, yo, stop getting them beats from off YouTube because mm -hmm. like if that shit blow and you don't got no rights to it, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yep. start finding your own producers. And right. if you is going to go through them, buy the beat out exclusively. Um, so uh, just just like I say, just from, from people seeing me through, bro, I had a thousand producers. Yeah, no doubt. I get beats. <laughs> every, I swear to God, like, at least every, I don't go two days without getting emails from yeah. some producer through Instagram. Or something like, yo, let me send you some beats. Or from the guys who I'm already locked in with, mm -hmm. every couple of days they like, yo, I just sent a new pack to you. Right. So I get beats. I got I got beats that I ain't even opened yet in my email. Have you did anything on 38 special beats? No. Oh, that'd be crazy. No, I haven't. Uh, I that'd met 38. Nice I don't, I don't really up. have a I don't really have a relationship with them. Okay. But I met them uh, a, a few a few times and we familiar with each other. Okay. But no, I haven't. I, 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 as of lately, I stick to all my in-house producers. Got you. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Nuno. Shout out to uh, Chef Music. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to my man Fell Sinister. He from Richmond, uh, from VA and shit. Yeah. Uh, so and um, it's like a couple few Sam beats and what about unique? And what about unique? unique beats? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, unique wasn't more the the beat guy. He was playing more the manager gotcha. role. Gotcha. Okay. But he make beats though. But okay. he wasn't like a main producer of mine. Right. It was more like Chef and Fell and stuff. But yeah, unique was even more the manager shit. Got you. Yeah. Who was some outside of your team? Like some of the new artists in Baltimore that's coming up that you 
you see that's making some noise out here. Oh yeah, it's a it's a it's a few artists from the city making noise like YG Tech, uh, Money Jake, uh, what TMC the Don. Uh, it's a few. It's a it's a few people that's making noise that mm -hmm. that's that's making noise like the DMV area, but that's like three just to name. It's more. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But do do artists here like support each other or because there's not some really. cities that like here they they not even... they oh shout oh young moose my mm -hmm. fault shout out young moose he you know he was he signed the badass boosie and shit. Oh, okay that's what's up shout out um, to him man. I'm probably missing somebody. YGG, I mean, uh, what's his name? Uh, Roddy Rex just signed to Def Jam. Okay. Um, you collaborated with some of these artists yet, or? Nope. Maybe down the line in the future? Yeah, I ain't collaborate with none of them, okay. but yeah. So, uh, it's not it's not like that here. Like, here, niggas don't support you until you start, Bubbling until they yourself. start seeing shit. Like, yeah. if, if you just a regular, you know what I mean? That you, you know, you might get some, you know, but like on like, like you 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 gotta start making. Once you start making some noise and they start seeing you doing, yeah, then people will start gravitating mm -hmm. towards you. Like, but as far as like, nah, that that's a, nah, it's not like that. Here. <laughs> it's really like a crab in a barrel mentality. Well, I think it's that's been in like every that city, man. You gotta go, like, you gotta go out the city, yeah, pop, you gotta, and then come back and, and come bring back, it back and to the town. Type shit, exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Like, even when I look at my analytics, uh, like, like between Spotify and Apple, I hit like 1.1, 1.2 million streams this year. Wow. And and Baltimore is not even my one of my top five cities. Right. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I can't, uh, so Baltimore not even in my top five. So, uh, but um, yeah, you got to make some noise here. That's how it is in the city. It, it, mm -hmm. I don't, for, for whatever reason, like once you start making noise and people, like I got support from like, uh, I ain't really start getting like the support and the love I get now. Since I started moving with Khan. I already know. <laughs> and that, that period. I already know, bro. You know what I mean? I could tell. It's like that in every city, man. You got to, like, artists out there, you can't, you got to go somewhere else, pop, come back to the town, bring it back to no, the but town, it's, then everybody going to latch It's a lot of you. niggas who, who made noise here first. You know, it, it, it don't always go like that. Yeah. It don't always go like you can't pop in your city first. Mm -hmm. Some it's a lot. It's a couple of dudes from here that pop here first, and they start spreading Branching out. out. It just don't. It, it it ain't the same story for everybody. Right. Some you know what I mean. Some you know what I mean. Like I said, like for instance, me. Like I I got a bigger buzz out of town than in Baltimore. I get more streams from other cities than Baltimore. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. So like I said, it's it's different strokes, different folks. So being on a roll. What, what was some of your favorite places that you like performing at? What was oh, your yeah, best? What that, was your best show at? Easy. What uh, city? Boston, Denver, LA, uh, Detroit, mm -hmm. Chicago, uh, New York, Philly. But I, I, I'm a, I'm gonna stick to the top three though. Right. I'm gonna say Denver. Boston and like LA. I'm gonna say Denver, the, Boston, and the, LA. The atmosphere is different out there. Yeah, it's definitely like Boston. They real like hardcore hip hop fans. <laughs> a lot of white dudes. Like yeah, white people. Yeah, straight. Yeah, straight. You know that's the crowd though. I mean, it ain't no secret. Yeah. Griselda fan is the Griselda. You know, it's a. I'm, I think that's hip hop. Period. I ain't even gonna say Griselda. Facts. Nah, definitely. White. You know, white people consume hip hop more than anybody. Mm -hmm. They buy the they support, albums more, they, they stream heavy. it more, they you see these hip hop concerts, it's a lot of it's mostly so but yeah, even though they people say like world. Boston a real racist spot, it is, but the people some that's not in the, the hip hop got yeah, There's it's, it's hip hop out there. They always show like the most energy. Right. Like both both tours I went on, they showed the most energy. Mm hmm now you can see it on when you're watching it on YouTube, like in the playbacks and all that. They yeah. right there, front yeah, and center, yeah, man. Yeah, Denver is. I love Denver. <laughs> like Denver, 
As I, I slept, I, I would have never thought, yo. I remember, I remember my first time in Denver. Lover get you killed tour. Yeah, what's like a good the story atmosphere, out there? The energy, like Denver is is popping. <laughs> That's I'm telling you, just for people who don't know, like right. Denver is a great place, even even without like not the performing wise, mm -hmm. just in whatever aspect. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. Like vacation, even a place to live. You know what I mean? Like the scenery, crazy out there. They got a nice nightlife. Mm -hmm. So when beautiful you're in these, city. When, when you in these cities, do you go out like move around oh, yeah. and test Hell the town, yeah. see what it looks? Yeah, yeah, got to. Shit, what? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's we me too, outside, man. Outside, nigga. Yeah. L.A. I want to see the hood. I want to see what the hood like, and I want to see what Hollywood. We was Hollywood outside of like. L.A. every night. We was moving around. With, with Ben, with Khan, he be having business right. in certain cities. Like Denver, he had a lot of business. He saw the commercial for Crown Cigarellos. You know, he had like photo shoots and different shit to do. So, mm -hmm. you know, moving around with him when we hit certain cities and we there for like three, four or five days, he'd be having certain bookings for certain shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we was we had a lot of that going on this last tour. And, and besides that, we be out ourselves. Yeah. We check out what's the, the best food spots, mm -hmm. the best clubs, and we be outside for sure. What's some of the best food spots out here in Baltimore? I say go to a seafood, Jimmy's seafood. Uh, it's a, it's a lot, man. It's it's a lot of mom and pop uh, food spots here. Yeah. It's a lot of soul food. I can't even think of all the names. <laughs> it's so many different Miss Shirley's. Uh, it's mad spots. Uh, so many, yeah, food big here, man. Who who you said? Who? Miss Carter's Kitchen, fuck yeah. Uh, it's a few spots I'm forgetting. They got that good ass this, soul this food. This what yeah. Baltimore known for. Yeah, the seafood, yeah, yeah. Right? The sea, yeah, the seafood yeah. is crazy. Soul food, hip hop, yeah. fish and chicken. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Stokos, that's what I'm. It's too much shit. I I can't even remember yeah. all it. Yeah, yeah, food big, especially like soul food and seafood. Fuck yeah, man. Yo, R. P. To my pops, he from out here, and yeah, he was heavy crab, like getting. Like the bushels and all that, like, yeah. See, I gotta remember all this, so when I come back, I come through yeah. and go hit those spots up, man. Yeah, man. So definitely, y'all performing tonight here in Baltimore. Yeah. What was the alongside Vado, Sammy Snow is in the building. Yeah. What was the process like putting that show together? Uh, it was just a collective, you know, Snow, Two Official, Wisdom mm -hmm. Court, everybody, you know, all my guys. We kind of just poured in and. He pulled his reach, he, you know, they put their shit together and got the spot and reached out to Vado and we got all the guys together and reached out to the, you know, got the local artists promoted, mm -hmm. they got that shit opened up. And uh, yeah, that's it, you know, just collective, yeah. a collective thing that way, you know, when you got four or five, you know, and every, you know, it makes it easier. All, it make it easier, mm -hmm. all right. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we did it. And, you know, it's going to be a good night. Yeah. A lot of tickets tickets got sold. Nah, I'm looking forward so to it tonight, be, man. We, and we got some out. good artists. Like, it ain't just... Who's, name some of the artists that's on the bill. Uh, my boy right here, IZM. Mm -hmm. Shit, we got Dree, man. Dree on that shit. Snow, of course. Myself. We got Giddy. We got Dope Boy Swag. Uh, my nigga Chill, he coming on way from Retton. Okay. Um... Honey Koofies, yeah, Honey Koofies. Oh yeah, Honey Koofies, fire. <laughs> yeah, hard. So I ain't even know that. Yeah, we got it. Ain't win. It ain't just a showcase. We put together and just let anybody, right? Like try and get niggas money, like mm -hmm. a, a money play with. Nah, this just is about a concert, this. man. It's about yeah. The artists that's performing is like good, great artists. Yeah. Like it ain't just you ain't gonna be sitting there like right. <laughs> you gonna be listening like okay. So you'll get to enjoy it. Cause yeah. I be I've been to a lot of showcases, you can just tell it was a money play. Mm -hmm. yep, it's yep. niggas hustle, which I don't knock it, but they had just had 15, 20 niggas and 15 um garbage. Yeah, it was like that ten years ago, yeah, a lot of showcases. Three you got two, three good acts out the whole fucking set. Right. So you gotta sit there and listen to all that shit. Yep. But no, nah, we gotta you know what I mean? Auto bar, shout out Sammy Snow, Wisdom Court. You know what I mean? Too official. You know what I mean? 
And you know, we're gonna do more. We're gonna do more of this shit. Right. 2024. Yeah, what we what can a we lot expect? of big shit. Uh 2024. I got shout out to Chef. Um, me and Chef, we got two projects. They recorded. Okay. They just they getting mixed. The first one getting mixed and mastered, Guns and Butter Volume One. Okay. Uh EP, me and Chef. Chef, he from uh Raleigh, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. He produced the whole shit. Uh as far as features, I got who on there? Skis, um, I got skis and fuck. I is think that, that track might be Duck it. Hunt with you and Goose by the way on Goose. there too? Yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's so much shit. I, I, I got to get to everything. I got to get to everything. I got so much shit recorded. Yeah. I got a project uh, coming out, you know, Monarchy through okay. drum work and shit. Okay. It's an EP. It's just an EP. Right. It ain't the official album okay it's called monarchy and shit uh that's coming out soon uh me and goose project hunting season volume one mm-hmm. that's coming out probably like early spring sometime okay um me and chef we got two projects recorded guns and butter volume one and two um one probably gonna be out I can't even, I can't even tell you. <laughs> Yo, bro. It's just... going to be soon, though. Like, I, I got so much projects recorded for this year. No, nah, that's good, man. My, Stay my, busy. My Keep big dumping. album, yeah. uh, Who Would Have Thought, coming out late, late this year. Mm-hmm. And um, fuck, what the fuck I was about to say? Conway, won't he do it too? You know what I mean? That's coming out. You know, I'm all on that shit. I don't, oh, shit. I don't want, well, I, I can spill the beans because you kind of <laughs> spilled the beans on a lot. You know, bro, go on yeah, live. Yeah, 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 yeah. And play the Leak whole fucking joints. album. Yeah. <laughs> so the cat already out the bag, but like, you know, I got the joint with him, Flea, and Method Man. So, bro, that's a nice setup for you, man. So that's, that's going to be crazy. That's coming out on Won't He Do It Too. Damn. That shit about to drop. So. Yeah. You know, and that shit still blow my mind to this day. Like, nigga, I'm on the track <laughs> right. with mouth. You know what I mean? Yo, uh, that got to be a crazy feeling, man. man. Hell, of course. That's like, good for what? your resume, too, for bro. For sure. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And then, you know, I'm on I'm on two joints on that album. You feel what I'm saying? So. Damn, that's a go. That's, that shit I can't wait to hear that one, boy. And I'm spazzing on that yeah, shit. Yeah, I already know, man. I, I guarantee you, y'all might, y'all, y'all, the, 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 the masses might not know, but. Definitely verse of the year, both of them. <laughs> I swear to God, yeah. on anything I love, yo, wait till them joints, yeah. Yo, how could the people follow you, man? Yo, it's SK the King on everything. SK the King one, Google. You know what I mean? You can Google me. All my work pop up. We got the doc, the drum, my drum work documentary on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, dope documentary follow, too. Dope yeah, documentary. Follow me on Spotify. Uh, yeah, SK the King, if you Google anything gonna pop up. 2024, I probably got like four or five projects I'm dropping this year. Uh YouTube, SK Drumwork. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Drumwork 2024. Shout out I Love Your Studios, you know what I mean? Salute, you can see salute. Yeah. You can see the clothing here, Logic, Thank Logic you. Inc. You know Thank what I mean? You. Before we get out Make of here. Sure you tap shout in. them out, yeah. You feel what I'm saying, my guy? Shout out my guy H, you feel me? Shit popping, you heard me? Logic's clothing. Make sure you tap in. And what about this right here? Talk and about this, the yeah, beverage. man, Sammy Snow. He gonna tell you more about this, you know what I mean? I'm yeah, gonna let bro. Next. But you know, we gotta uh, promote the bro shit. Broski got his own bed, 24K that's Snow. That's fire. You know what I Yo, mean? And this dope. shit really good, too. It yeah, ain't I'm gonna just try like, it after we finish all this shit, I swear to God. Yeah. I don't even <laughs> drink bed, nigga. I swear to God, I don't drink beer, and that shit is that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah drum work, 2024, man. Uh, you know. Yeah, Yo, man, SK, we working for sure, definitely. Everybody. Shout out my gang, shout out Dre, you know what I mean? Shout out H, Giddy, IGM, mm-hmm. Snow, you dig what I'm saying? Uh, I don't want to miss nobody. Shout out Bosco, EJ Heavy, Sleek, Checker Flag Boys, yeah. you know what I mean? Baltimore City. Drum work, you know what I mean? We coming 2024, SK the King, stay tuned. Big fours. Mm-hmm. Yo, SK, man, keep doing your thing, brother. You know we got your back over here. Most definitely. Rhymes and politic, we support dope artists and that's got their foot on the pedal, man. Keep doing what you're doing, stay focused, please, yeah, man. Yeah, stay yeah. focused. I, I see, know, that's- I wanna I got, see that's... longevity from you, bro. 
I, that's one thing I got to do is stay focused. Keep, keep your team around you. Keep your yeah. good people around you. You got the big bro. He got, he's level-headed. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Yo, yep. y'all got this, man. Just stay sure. focused, bro. Please, man. Yeah, man. We coming, man. And just There's keep no, dumping that good music, too, man. This shit ain't man. light, man. Don't get it fucked up because <laughs> niggas ain't mainstream. Yeah. Just work over here. That's it's not fact. light, bro. It's really like that. Like, mm -hmm. when it come to that music shit, like, don't sleep because niggas ain't on a little baby level and all that. Right. Like, we really like that with that music shit. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Yo, SK, man, I appreciate you, my brother. Man, appreciate you more. I can't wait Heard. to see the show tonight. Y'all yeah, gonna check it out later crazy, on the platform. Y'all gonna see the recap later on the channel. SK the King, check it, Flag Boys is in the building. Yeah, He's Baltimore. Salute to y'all, man. Keep doing y'all thing, baby. Drum work. We in the building.